What is dimethyltryptamine, also known as DMT? DMT is a psychedelic substance. It can naturally be found in some species in Mexico, South America, and parts of Asia, and manufactured in a lab, Breaking Bad style. In its pure form, DMT is a white crystalline powder or solid crystal. It can be yellow or orange or pink when it's not pure. When combined with ayahuasca, it can be a brownish red liquid. It's a schedule one drug, meaning that it has no acceptable medical use. DMT is untested for consumer use and is banned by the FDA. And when taken by a user, DMT causes intense hallucinations. Hallucinations involving seeing, hearing, smelling, feeling, or even tasting things that are just not real. Experiences with DMT differ based upon the user. Some report excitement, while others report feeling extremely frightened. Now let's talk about its history. DMT has been used since ancient times, most commonly in ritual contexts. It's been around for thousands of years as part of South American shamanic ceremonies. DMT is used to achieve a higher spiritual consciousness. DMT is even legal in some countries for these religious purposes. However, beginning in the mid 1900s, tryptamines like LSD and DMT started to be used recreationally by young people. And because of the potency and the unpredictable nature of DMT, the use of this drug can be dangerous and may affect one's mental and physical well-being. DMT and ayahuasca are commonly mistaken for the same thing. So... What exactly is ayahuasca? Ayahuasca is the psychoactive brew made from the leaves of the Psychotria voridis, which contains the DMT and the stalks from the Banistorius copy, which contain potent monomine oxidized inhibitors. These reduce the breakdown of DMT and impacts its psychoactive effects. Research may suggest that ayahuasca can be helpful for people struggling with PTSD and healing traumatic memories. However, because of limited research, safety and effectiveness are still in question. Okay, time for the nerdy stuff. Doctor mode engaged. By the way, I am not a doctor. So let's just make that clear. What is the pharmacology behind DMT? DMT works by blocking the action of serotonin in the brain, which is a substance that acts as a neurotransmitter and carries signals throughout your body. Serotonin regulates your mood, digestion, and sleep, and other important bodily functions. When serotonin levels in your body are too little or too high, it can negatively affect your mental health and your physical health. DMT acts as a non-selective antagonist at most of the serotonin receptors, specifically the 5-HT2A receptor, which sounds like C-3PO's rebellious younger brother. Stimulation of this receptor may help induce the hallucinogenic effects of DMT. At the same time, the serotonin produced inhibits both dopamine and adrenaline, and the hallucinogenic effects of DMT differ depending on the way that it's taken and how much it's taken. When taken alone, it's usually snorted, smoked, or injected. And the effects of DMT come faster when it's injected as opposed to when it's just taken orally. When drank as a brew, such as an ayahuasca, the effects may take longer and peak around two to three hours. Often, people will experience mental side effects for days or even weeks after using this drug because of its strength. Side effects of DMT may include vivid hallucinations, depersonalization, distorted sense of time, increased rapid heartbeat, increased blood pressure, chest pain or tightness, agitation, dizziness, and pupil dilation. There are also serious risks that can potentially come with taking DMT, which include confusion, seizures, loss of muscle coordination, and even persistent psychosis, which is struggling to identify what's real and not real for a long time. So does DMT actually help depression? Because DMT is so strong, it can affect both your physical and your mental health. It works similarly to antidepressants, targeting the serotonin receptors in the brain. But people who consume large amounts of DMT or take it along with antidepressants are at risk of developing serotonin syndrome, which can be life-threatening. Symptoms of serotonin syndrome can include like anxiety, disorientation, restlessness, excitement, tremors, rapid heart rate, abnormally rapid breathing, shivering, and diabetes. 
diarrhea. Now, some recent studies may suggest that DMT may be effective as a part of your depression treatment, but more research is definitely needed to determine whether it is safe and effective overall. How does DMT affect anxiety? Because of its big impact on the brain, it can trigger or worsen anxiety, depression, and other mental health conditions. It can intensify anxiety symptoms. Because it's hallucinogenic, the user may also experience a bad trip. And this can include uncontrollable, vivid hallucinations and experiencing terrifying visuals. And those who already have mental health problems are more at risk of experiencing a bad trip. On the contrary, there is a discussion about the the use and safety of DMT and other psychedelics as a treatment for mental health disorders like anxiety and depression. But, and this is the big old but, more research is needed to know its effectiveness and the risks and safety along with it as a treatment option. So now you know about DMT and how it affects the brain. It's a potent hallucinogenic substance with a lot of history, and it can also be dangerous and unpredictable. If you or someone you know is struggling with DMT addiction, or its related mental health challenges, visit sandstonecare.com or call the number linked up in the description box below. We'll get to know you and your specific story and give you the support that you need, even if it's not with us. Change is possible and Sandstone Care is here to help.